ABC 10's Lena Howland has been tracking this story for days. She's live now at the district headquarters. Uh, we've, we've been to some active scenes before. This definitely is that, Lena. Yeah, you can say that again. We are live right now at the Cerna Center where teachers and staff are holding a rally right now, which just started a few minutes ago. As you can see all around me here, uh, they got here just a few moments ago to surround the Cerna Center uh, after spending several hours picketing outside of each of their own schools. We spent the morning hearing from teachers, bus drivers, parents, and even students disappointed that things had to come down to this. We got the power! Donned in red with picket signs at the ready, teachers and staff walked off the job as they demand fair pay and adequate staffing, leaving their Sac City Unified classrooms empty. I have never seen such profound disrespect for not only the employees, but for the students in the classroom as well. Tim Douglas, also known as Mr. D, a history teacher for 26 years at McClatchy High School, was first on the picket lines Wednesday morning. I do hope there is some sense of urgency to get teachers back in the classroom. We absolutely love our students and we are fighting for them. We're fighting for all the students. They deserve a quality education and it's not going to happen if we can't get enough teachers to staff our schools. The teachers union says the district is still short 250 teachers, 100 substitutes and 400 staff. We're overworked and underpaid and I think if we can retain, um, bring people in and retain them, our jobs will be a little bit a little bit easier. Even students like Phoenix Leary, who dreams of someday becoming a lawyer, joining her teachers at McClatchy High School on the picket line. If a teacher has to miss out, it's a struggle for them to find somebody to come stand in and help our class. And it's honestly kind of jarring. I've never seen anything like it. Christina Pritchett, president of the Sac City Unified School Board, said the current proposals to increase compensation are a reflection of what we can currently afford in our budget. We urge SCTA to return to the bargaining table and give these proposals to increase employee compensation due consideration. But the labor unions say their original proposal does nothing to address their staffing needs, putting the ball back in the district's court. They have to do something. They have to, you know, they have to help us. Things have to change. Now keep in mind, this is something that's impacting more than 43,000 students across the city of Sacramento right now. Back here at the Cerna Center, this rally is going to be going on until at least 1.30 this afternoon. Both labor unions are expected to head back to the bargaining table with the district a little bit later on today. We're going to continue to track this for you and let you know just as soon as new developments unfold. Back to you. Okay, Lena Howland, thank you very much. That is uh, the, quite the picket line there and uh, hopefully this afternoon both sides will get this thing worked out. So our coverage of the Sac City Unified Teacher Strike continues all day right here on ABC 10. Look for live coverage in our next newscast and another working on it right now that comes your way at five o'clock. Healthy meals will be available for students today. Here are the locations where the meals will be available on your screen. Students can start picking them up uh, shortly and that'll be in about 25 minutes up until one o'clock in the afternoon. Meals will also be available at all Sac City Unified school locations. Coming up later in this newscast, we're going to look into who the strike impacts the most. Parents, students, also which students get left behind when schools shut down.